Well, hello, Internet. So, uh, I just recently uh, changed my pool from a regular chlorine pool to a saltwater pool. Um, I've been thinking about it for a while now, and the price of chlorine just uh, was way out, out of line. And I thought, do I make the investment or not? Did a lot of research, and uh, yeah, I could have stayed with chlorine, but it, I looked, it's really the cost that drove me over. And I, I was looking at the break even between doing chlorine versus um, paying, you know, doing the initial investment for a chlorine generator. And I looked at all the pros and cons. After doing the pro, pros and cons, at least for where I live, I live in the south. Um, my pool is, uh, I get to use my pool really through May through maybe September um, in, uh, in Georgia. Um, just to give you a view of the pool here, and you see the pool overlooks the lake. The um, what I really do in this video for is this is now that I have a, a saltwater pool. What's the best way to maintain it? How do I get it balanced? How does this salt thing work with the chlorine? Um, I had bought some strips for measuring salinity, and they weren't cheap. And I said, it's gotta be, I don't wanna keep uh, buying these strips for the salinity. So I looked at electronic um, tools. This is one I got from eBay, not eBay, but Amazon. It's a C100. There are a lot of, a lot of, a lot of salinity checkers on Amazon just like this. This was a cheaper one. I think I paid uh, definitely under 30 bucks for this thing. If I, I really, it's really simple. All you do is turn it on. It goes to zero once you turn it on. Now, just if you think you're gonna drop it, I was using a jar, put it in a jar, but for, I got so, I was doing it in the morning. You don't have to, I'm only doing it every day right now because I just switched over my pool. And so you can see it's at 3360 salinity. And it says to keep the salinity level from 3000 to 4000. And it's got the temperature of the water here. It's 80 degrees right now, it's in the morning. And this thing works pretty good. Um, I'd much rather be using this versus those strips. And actually I found the strips to be pretty in inconsistent between strips. So, so that, that's one tool I use and it's pretty good. I know you can get a one size fits all tool for a couple hundred bucks, but uh, this one did what I want. And I found that uh, at least looking on the internet that um, the strips are pretty cost effective for doing everything else for um, measuring the chlorine and everything so here's another one I bought which is really cheap I think it was under 30 bucks um, again I don't remember the cost but I got it on Amazon I wanted something to, to measure the pH it comes up it comes with the solutions to calibrate it I have not calibrated it because I was trying to see how it was working compared to the strips. Most of the strips do the pH, but I wanted something electronic also, and this was cheap versus getting the all-in-one thing, which is more expensive. So my salinity level right now is at 7.35. And what I read about uh, saltwater pools is that the pH will gradually come up on most pools using a saltwater pool. So I wanted to keep an eye on that pretty close to see how, how it worked. My pool started out with a very, very low pH. And I said, well, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna, I might put some baking soda in. So I did, I put uh, a bag of ba baking soda in there and that did help the pH. Um, then, so then I decided to, um, just let it and it was still low but I wasn't gonna like put a lot of uh, more stuff in there to make it go up because what I read was the saltwater pools will over time raise your pH so that's what I've seen happen over the past week or so and so I got some good, good strips Steve gonna go got these off Amazon these are the hatch ones uh, seven-way strips 
And so I'm gonna do a test here. So I just did the dip. And it may hard, be hard to see on the video. I'm looking on the camera here and I don't see it very well. But, yeah, the color doesn't come in, come in really good on the video. But when I'm looking at it in real time here with the, what they have on the bottle, it's hard to do this with one hand. Okay. So, it, with, it, with at least for my pool, the hardness was in line, the uh, total chlorine was ideal, the free chlorine was in the ideal range, and the pH was, again, it's hard to tell in the video, but the pH is in line. Alkalinity was a little low, and the cyanuric, cyanuric acid was in the low range. Getting closer. Um, but again, I didn't want to put a ton of cyanuric acid in and then have to fix it. Um, I'm going to monitor it over the next week and then probably, probably raise it. Um, I looked at a lot of people doing the BBB method for their pools um, with the borax baking soda and bleach and that seems like it uh, at least for if I have problems I can I can use those over over the counter tools except for um, if my pH once my pH gets to a level on the 8 level um, then I can drop some muriatic acid in there to lower it uh, or or use some other tools uh, chemicals all right well Again, I, I'll see, I've seen a ton of videos on YouTube that really do help me. And uh, being a pretty amateur on um, dealing with pools, uh, this was a first time for me. And I thought this would be a good uh, like first time saltwater pool owner video of how they uh, approach doing the, um, you know, checking the salinity and the pH and using the, using the different strips and that kind of stuff. All right.